Okay, now over to Tim in the Mastercraft kitchen who is making pizza, but not pizza as you have probably ever made it. Hey, Tim. Hello, how are you? I'm really, really well. So what are you doing? What's in there? What's the secret ingredient? Well, today uh, I get to play with insects. So I've been hearing quite a bit in the last few years about uh, insects being the next big thing in food, and today I finally get to let loose and use cricket flour. Uh, but first and foremost, I've got to make a bit of a dough. We're doing pizzas, uh, and so I'll get onto that. We'll find out all the information about it soon, uh, but on first onto this base. What I've done here is I've added some yeast and some warm water to start the yeast process, adding a little bit of sugar here. And now what that's doing is that's just going to aerate, and I've got to let that sit, and we will add it to the flour base. For the flour base, this is all gluten-free, so, so hang on, that's ground up crickets. No, this isn't yet. Oh. I'll, I'll, I'll be adding that in. This is okay. ground up crickets. Just well, let's buff it in now. And it smells. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not <laughs> like smell crickets. Cricket. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, so, <laughs> it smells like crickets. But let's so let's say it smells like crickets. All right. And this is rice flour, white rice flour. Oh, sorry, that's the brown rice, rice flour. It looks pretty similar. White rice flour there. Tapioca flour. This is an impressive base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's a lot of things that actual gluten-free people will have to use at home. Um, when they're making doughs and things like that, that was uh, xanthan gum, a bit of baking powder, all right, some sugar and a pinch of salt. And all I'm going to do is combine this. Once this yeast has, uh, has begun to foam and the sugar start to activate with that yeast, I'm going to stir it through make a bit of a dough. And so when you come back to me, we can roll it out and we'll talk all about the health benefits of cricket flour. We're joined by Christopher Wilson, who's going to tell us more about his company, which is called Live Longer, Eat Well. Just before the break, we handed out these protein bars made of crickets. And Tim in the Mastercraft Kitchen is making a pizza base made of cricket flour. So Christopher, great to have you with us. Thank you. What got you started in this? Well, a uh, recipe came across my Facebook feed, and in that recipe was this ingredient called cricket flour. And I thought, what's that? Why did you think, what's that? Well, because <laughs> I didn't relate cricket to flour. And right. I thought, you know, it's kind of like, you know, tiger flour's not made of squash tigers. <laughs> Is it? True, that's a good point. <laughs> so, I did a little bit of, yeah. <laughs> so I did a little bit of discovery through Google and found out what it was and realised that it's the world's most sustainably farmed protein. And there's so much more to crickets, which we're going to learn about in just a minute. Um, so I'll tell you what, we're going to let Tim carry on with his pizza base. What, what more do you need to do for this pizza base? Well, all I've done is I've uh, combined the flours that you saw me do earlier, yep. mixed it all together, got it into a bit of a dough, uh, and then I'm oiling a pizza stone here that I'll pop the dough on, press it in, and we're going to bake it for about half an hour. Nice work. Okay, so you've used the cricket flour. Yes, I um, have. When we say cricket flour, is it a whole cricket ground down? Is that yes, what it is. Yes, it is. It's a whole food. Yes, so the, the cricket is roasted, then yep. it is milled, and then it is... Uh, turned into flour, or powder as it's technically called, but we like to use flour because it's a little bit more acceptable. And I heard too that it's really rich in nutrients, so take us through some of the health benefits. Well, 68.8% in protein for the organic version, we can actually get up to 77% protein in the non-organic. That's insane. But yeah. we won't do non-organic because they feed them fish meal, and fish is not sustainable, and okay. of course Northern Hemisphere has taken fish off the organic list because of the toxins in the sea. You've got uh, calcium, B12, um, omega-3-1, amino acids, um, fibre. You've got chitin, which is a prebiotic to a probiotic. Um, so you starting to get the picture. It's quite a good yeah. food. Yeah, that sounds interesting. And, you know, I heard that more iron than beef, more milk than calcium, and about more the same... More calcium milk. Um, <laughs> <laughs> more calcium, thank you. I'm pleased you're here. Um, and we've also got, um, you know, when it comes to omegas as well, there's, um, there's you know, uh, quite a lot of that. But the stack in there, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um, so very healthy for us. And these protein bars that you've got, organic, paleo, grain-free, dairy-free, um, you know, that is one fantastic whole food that I think the world is moving towards now. Oh, it is really. I mean, people are starting to move away from supplements and they're looking for their minerals and their vitamins out of whole foods. Hence, we've developed this protein bar. It's got uh, six whole foods, touch of vanilla, it's raw, it's cold-pressed, it's grain-free, it's wow. dairy-free, organic. Uh, here's a compostable wrapper that you can feed to your wind farm. Nice, OK. He's got it all covered. Yeah. <laughs> but what I want to know is how do you farm crickets? Because you're not going to throw them in a paddock like a cow. Well, they're no, exactly. You know, yeah. yeah. We, we use uh, Entomo Farms up in Canada. 
are the world leaders in farming cricket, so right. they do the best uh, tasting cricket and the highest in protein. And we had a bit of a joke, my fiance and I, when we were travelling up there on the plane, was rule number one, 101, don't lift the lid on the box, but it's quite the opposite. They're all free range in a massive warehouse. <laughs> free range in cricket, that's good. <laughs> cool, that's important. Yeah. Yeah. And the sound is dynamic, it's all kept at 28 degrees, and you right. just want to put a deck chair in there and suffer pina colada because it's lovely. But the crickets live to 48 to 50 days. Um, they're shut down with dry ice at 42 days in their prime. They're an exoskeleton, so they don't really feel that they've been shut wow. down. Then they're roasted, milled, and cricket flour. Oh, my goodness. Uh, when you say best tasting, who's done the taste testing? And, oh, we've do done... you just what? pop round and pick a few... Uh, yeah, what do they say? Crickets. Crickets. <laughs> crickets. <laughs> not crotches. <laughs> <Yeah, not cockroaches. laughs> <laughs> you know, definitely, because there's lots of places in the world that are farming crickets. Thailand is uh, predominantly one of the major ones, um, but unfortunately they don't have organic cricket flour. Um, they are sourcing all their crickets from backyard operators, and um, so there's no science in actually how that cricket flour is coming together. There's no feed regulation, um, so the taste is quite different and the smell is quite different. Uh, so Entomo Farms have developed a huge science behind farming crickets, and it tastes really nice, nutty, slight earth mm. undertone. Yeah, it is. Yeah, 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 no, it is that nice, nutty taste. I can't wait to try the pizza, Tim. Yeah. Um, I know we didn't talk much about no, the pizza, no, that's but right. that's all right. We'll carry on. We'll finish the pizza. Yeah. 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 Well done. Looking good. Thank, Thank you. you so much for coming in. Yeah, Fascinating. Welcome. Best of luck for the business. Thank that's you. It tastes really good. How is your cricket pizza looking? Yeah, it's looking delicious. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Nice. Uh, so what we've done is we've baked it for about 25 minutes, got it nice and crispy around the edges, and then whacked it in the oven with all the toppings. Uh, we've gone for a bit of a margarita pizza today, some basil, mozzarella, and tomato. And we'll just top it with some nice fresh basil, a drizzle of olive oil. That looks good. Some salt and pepper. Live longer, eat well, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bring her over. I tell bring you it what. Over. Yeah, you bring it over. And Sticky TV crew, you can yeah. come and too, because well, I know you love your food. Come and try some <laughs> try some cricket. Better get in there before it hops off, right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good work. <laughs> Turn up stage we on the show. <laughs> uh, what are you doing tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow we're doing chocolate truffles. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Crickets. Go. Oh, good. good. My favourite insect to eat. <laughs>